hi aquarius aquarius sun moon rising venus welcome to your daily energy reading aquarius sun moon rising venus what are their thoughts and feelings when it comes to you what are their thoughts and feelings when it comes to you aquarius sun moon rising venus what are their thoughts and feelings when it comes to you What are their thoughts and feelings when it comes to Aquarius? And then we have the King of Swords. Someone could be wanting to come and communicate with you with this King of Swords energy here. And then we have the Nine of Wands, the Wounded Warrior. You could have been through so much with this person. This person could have put you in a, through a lot of pain. Somebody could have been indecisive in the past with this Two of Swords. I'm also picking up an energy of somebody that could have showed up in this King of Swords energy. Very emotionally unavailable energy. The King of Swords is very intellectual. He's very intelligent. However, his downfall is that he's not too much. He's not in touch with his feelings. So there's a, there's a tendency for him to be very withdrawn emotionally. He likes to analyze everything very logical, methodical. But he is not too in touch with his feelings. And you could have went through a lot with this person, with this Nine of Wands energy. This could have been a very strong relationship. It had also had a lot of potential, but there, there was, it's like there was a lot of struggles. You could have struggled a lot in this connection. With this Two of Swords energy, this, some, this could have been someone that was very undecided, indecisive energy. Tell me more about this person, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. And then we have the page of cups. This person could be wanting to come and express how they feel about you. You could also be expecting re uh, receiving messages from this person. Messages about how they feel about you. Lovely messages. Very strange energy. And then we have the ten of cups. So you see the ten of cups is showing up under the king of swords. This person could have also decided that it's like they know that you are their soulmate. With this ten of cups, you are their end all be all. That beautiful energy, that relationship that has everything, wish fulfillment in terms of like love. The ten of cups is beautiful energy. So for somebody that is showing up in this king of swords energy, this person could have been wearing a mask. They are just like, you know, they appear to be emotionally unavailable. But with this ten of cups energy, this is somebody that sees you as their happy ending. You make them very happy. They make you very happy too. Tell me more. With the six of uh, swords energy coming underneath the nine of wands, this person is wanting to heal this connection, move on from whatever struggles that you had with this person. And this person knows, you know, the king, the knight of sorry, the nine of wands energy is very resilient energy. Regardless of how painful situations are in that night of nine of wands energy. There's a lot of like resilience and strength and power. Willing to fight even after being hurt, hurt and heartbroken. And with the Six of Swords, this person is wanting to resolve issues with you. Let's, like, let's just move to Kama Waters. I know I messed up, but I'm sorry. Let's just move on. I'm also picking up an energy of someone that might not even want to talk about what happened. They could be feeling so embarrassed and they feel a lot of shame when it comes to what happened between you and them. And they could just come in that energy of like, I know I hurt you. Let's just move on. I'm sorry. And they might not want to address those past hurts because they, it's like this person is avoiding feeling that pain that they put you through. So they could also be appearing very strong even though they know that the breakup that they had with you caused them a lot of pain and anguish. So they might appear like, like they, are, they don't care, like very nonchalant. Or they do care, but they are not really hurt by the situation and it's fine let's just move on and then we have the empress energy this person see like you're the empress to this person this person sees you very attractive you could be attracting a lot of abandons around you with this empress energy somebody could also be dealing with like a, a mother or a taurus with this empress energy someone could also be dealing with them a mother of their children so this person could also be back, going back and forth between you and a mother of their children. 
or a parent or a mother. But this person, this person also sees you in this Empress energy where you're very attractive. They could also see you get a lot of attention with the Six of Wands. It's like maybe you're on the spotlight. You could also be on social media, getting a lot of attention on social media. With this uh, Chariot energy, this is Cancer energy. Someone is wanting to come towards you. There could be a third party in this situation with this Three of Cups. This person could be dealing with another person. This could be somebody they have children with, with this Empress energy that I saw here. Or their mother, a parent, their parent could be like interfering in this connection. Let me clarify that King of Swords for you, Aquarius. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I do extended readings on Patreon. So if you want more information about this reading, check out my Patreon. It's only $5 a month, Aquarius. I do extended readings there. If you also want a personal, a personal reading, you can purchase one on Patreon. It's $40. You can ask 10 questions. And I'll send you a video like this directed to, to, towards you. That we have the Ace of Swords. Somebody's wanting to come and communicate with you. It's like this person knows the truth now. The King of Swords is being clarified by this Ace of Swords. This person is has reached a, like a realization. It's like they know the truth about something and they're wanting to come towards you. Tell me more about that King of Swords for Aquarius Holy Spirit. You could be dealing with Aquarius, uh, Aquarius Libra Gemini. And we have the tower. The tower is Aries Scorpio energy. So this could have something could have ended very suddenly with this tower. I'm also picking up that this person could also be contacting you suddenly. You would not be expecting a text or a call from this person. The tower is unexpected changes, also unexpected endings. So if you're in separation from this person, that could be ending. And it, like you would, I don't, you would not be expecting this message coming from this person. With this ten of cups, this person could just communicate to you to you and just be like aquarius i love you i see you as my soulmate and i want to be with you forever and you'll be like so surprised because it's something that that will hardly ever happen dealing with this person because this is somebody that is very emotionally unavailable so you'll be very surprised to hear from this person and then we have the queen of cups this person has a lot of emotion for you this could be also this could emotion could be hidden so you might not be aware of this of this emotion with this queen of cups you could be dealing with a cancer pisces scorpio there's a lot of emotions in this connection you could also have a lot of love for this person tell me more about this two of swords for aquarius and then we have the knight of swords and death with this uh, uh knight of swords and this tower something is going to happen very quickly Something is going to happen very quickly. You will not be expecting this. You could be dealing with a Scorpio too with this death energy. Something is transforming. This person could have also ghosted you, went silent with this two of swords energy. Left you confused, not knowing what happened. And that, that, that energy is transforming. It's coming to an end with this death energy on top of this two of swords. So they are changing and they are wanting to rush in with communication. This person is like, it's like they are dying to talk to you now. After a, a long time of silence, and then we have the Six of Swords. They're wanting to move to Kama Waters. This person is really just wanting to move to Kama Waters. Let's heal this connection, Aquarius. I'm ready to move on. What is that page of cups for Aquarius? What is that page of cups for Aquarius, Holy Spirit? And then we have the Two of Wands and the Seven of Pentacles. Somebody is getting ready to come towards you. They are wanting to invest in this connection with the Seven of Pentacles energy here. Someone could also just be looking at their finances, looking at their money before they come towards you. Like just knowing, trying to ensure that everything is in order in terms of their stability before they come towards you. But this person is really wanting to come towards you. So if they are wanting to come towards you and offer you a marriage or something that is more stable, because we do have this Ten of Cups here, they want to ensure that they are ready financially they are in a stable position to offer you something that is more tangible but then we have this queen of swords we have a divine pay clarifying this ten of cups and this is your energy aquarius aquarius libra gemini with this queen of swords this person sees you as their person the ten of cups is the queen of swords so the person that makes them happy is you aquarius 
in this queen of queen of swords energy bear in mind that tarot is very fluid it's fluid in gender so you can be a man and be in this queen of swords energy because that is aquarius energy and this is a divine pair we have the king and the queen of swords here showing up so this is your person aquarius let's clarify the six of swords we have the three of pentacles this person wants to just move on and work on this connection with you they want to move on from drama and past hurts and everything that went bad between you and them what is the empress for aquarius and then we have the nine of wands the wounded warrior so this this could have hurt you right this could have hurt you aquarius and i'm also picking up an energy of like you transforming it's like things were very bad for you and you but you have you 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 picked yourself up and you, you stepped into this empress energy you healed yourself you could also be very caring like a caregiver with this very nurturing energy with this empress Tell me more about this Empress for Aquarius. And then we have the Eight of Pentacles. This person is really wanting to invest in this connection with you. What is the Six of Wands for Aquarius? And then we have the Devil. You could be dealing with a Capricorn. There could be obsession. Someone could be obsessively watching you here. This person could be watching you on social media. This person could be obsessively stalking you here. Watching you get attention. In this devil energy this person is feeling very tied to you it's like they cannot break free from your energy get a personal reading and then we have an ace of wands this person is very much attracted to you they, are, they could be watching you on social media or just watching you they it's like they watch you do stuff i'm just picking up an energy of somebody that could be watching you some way and they are very much obsessed with you they see you as somebody that is like a star, like you get a lot of attention, you're you are very beautiful. They are wanting to rush in and come towards you for a passionate new beginning. If you want a personal reading, get a personal reading. You can do so on my Patreon. If you want an extended reading, check it out, check it on Patreon. The link is on my description box because there's going to be an extended reading for this reading here. So we can see what is the challenge in this connection. What is this person's next moves? And how are they seeing you at this point and also messages from this person so if you're interested on in finding out more about this connection let's go to patreon before we go to patreon let me just give you some messages from this person then we can head over to patreon and find out what is the challenge in this connection what is stopping this person from coming right now and um how are they seeing you and what are their future actions towards you what exactly are those future actions towards you and how would you know who this person is so it's just five dollars a month every time i post a, a reading here you're going to check it out on patreon for the extended so you pay the five dollars once only once every month it's like you no know, subscription so every extended reading i do here you it will go on patreon you have access to it for just five dollars once off once off fee of five dollars every month if i post 30 videos here on youtube there's going to be 30 extended readings on patreon uh, also another benefit of being on patreon is that I, there's readings that I post on Patreon every day, bonus readings that are not here on YouTube. So you might resonate with some of those readings I, po I, paste, uh, I post on Patreon that are not linked to YouTube. So let's get some messages from this person to you. <laughs> 